Hello and welcome back to our Midlands map. 600 towns, getting busier. And uh, it's episode 28. We we start where we began on Sunday with Guess the Station. Easy one, which everybody knew it would be. Uh, we do have a winner though. He was in rather quickly. <laughs> Within about three minutes, it was Dylan Paul. I will put up the uh, new fancy, fancy gold badge of awesome that you have won. We will be uh, heading back for a new guest station on Sunday. I'm going to try and make it a little trickier. We also have a new time for uh, the release of my videos to try and account for uh, more people being awake. So it's easier to get in at the beginning. Um, we'll, we'll try it for a month and in the new year I'll put a vote up on the channel and you guys can decide if the new time suits you. And then we'll go with the uh, majority. So this is the new time. It'll be uh, 12 noon US Central and 6pm GMT which will make it the day after in Oz I believe at 7am uh, ish in the morning. That's as best as I could get it. Right. Yes. Shall I say what the station was? <laughs> it's an easy one, isn't it? Let's bring all this back up a second. It was. There you go. We, we should know this one. There's a missing airport. It's Birmingham International. Next one. Not as easy. I guarantee that. I'm going to make it tricky. So, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, We'll endeavour to make that uh, a bit interesting on Sunday. I am so glad to be back, guys. For those that might not know, I think most of you do by now, bit of a disastrous live stream yesterday. Luckily, videos are my thing and not live streams. Otherwise, uh, it, my career might have ended before it even began. I, I, we've got to delete this. We've got some tricky stuff to do. We're going to continue... I should say what we're doing, really. Just, like, fly into it. Heading to Nuneaton. Remember I said we're not going to build any fancy stuffs? Well, I have a plan. In between uh, Trustoke and New Arley, there is a ma or there used to be, a massive coal mine. Uh, unfortunately, it burnt down. Or there was a massive fire there, and it shut down in 2013... And that is the door mill colliery. So, I thought we should reopen that. And that will give us an... And we'll make it a massive coal area. Pretty much bang in the middle there. So that's planned. I don't know whether it will be today, but it's, it's on the list to do. What we want to do is head this line up to Kingsbury. It, it's going to park about there and run parallel with the river. Uh, this branch here, which we, we, we've gone a bit sharp on, is going to come and meet it. Um, we're going to kind of scoot off there. It won't be 100%. First things first, though, we have something to fix. Do you remember our quandary uh, that we had going on? How do freight get out of here? Do they reverse? Do, what do they do? Well, we miss something, or I miss something. Uh, golden squid. He pointed out that there is actually a crossover. Oh, I missed it. And that means we zoom out 50,000 miles. We missed it. Or I missed it. Just under here, there would be a crossover. that goes like that. Oh, don't bring up catenary. You would only know the pain I've, I've gone through with catenary. If you uh, watch the live stream. Or the VOD, which is available. If you do wish to watch me... Uh, collapse into a heap over the space of two and a half hours everything that could go wrong possibly did and I destroyed the East Coast mainline you're welcome but back with this well let's try not to destroy our brand new map oh don't worry everything that's being done on that live stream of the East Coast mainline will not affect the actual series when we go back to it it is it is all okay okay so this is there we might have problems with freight trains holding stuff up coming this way. However, 
If we uh, signal... No, actually, we won't at all. We, we should be fine. Um, the only blockage we'd get is if a freight train went that way, but we'll use the freight to go on this outside line because we're obviously not stopping. It, it will work. I'm telling you now, guys, it will work. Did we... Uh, we need a two-way signal somewhere. And the only place I can see that being useful would be here. I know, it, it's a bit of a mess. But that's a two-way signal. This is bi-directional. So thank you to everyone in Discord. We're having a bit of chat about... A bit of a chat about this. Oh, it, it's great to be back recording. I, I, I do love you guys uh, chatting to you, though. That's the only the only downside of recording. However, I can uh, remove some of the rubbish <laughs> that you <laughs> don't see. And uh, boy, is there a lot of that. Okay, this is a crazy junction, and we're going to have to figure it out. Condensed. I guess what we should do is figure out where the line uh, drifts off and heads up north. Which I would say about there would be perfect for us. And it is a simple one. What we have to do, which may be tricky, is this here has to come in. We're going to have to juggle this a bit. Has to come in and meet this line. As long as these are all roughly in the right place. Ooh, see? We've already got a problem. We'll have to do... Yeah, they're kind of doing weird things anyway. So we'll have to bring it like that. Oh, I'll take things I regret doing straight off the bat. There we go. It, it'll be fine. I think I got it. We've, we're there. It's done. Right. So now we're coming at a better angle to meet back up with this track. We've got to get up there before this junction. All this uh, crazy junction that's going on there. And we've got to fit in. Cross over just here. Which should be entertaining. And then we head out and meet this. So if we bring this in. Hopefully it will. No it won't. Maybe we can come out like that. As you know guys. Uh, working at this scale. With some of the crazy junctions that are around the UK which are amazing to do I would love one day we are going to do a one-on-one -on -one scale or maybe maybe half the size I think that will give us more than enough room because this is about about a fifth of the size so I, th I think we can manage it I definitely think we can uh, do it at half scale um, okay. So far, so good. Whether we get the bridge that... There's a, like a, a derelict track that's still there that goes across that way. We might leave that till, till last. This one here is a dead end. And it kind of... We'll, we'll go up to that far. We'll bring it round. We'll probably operate it as a siding of sort. Kind of follows it around that way. We do have a problem, and as in we've gone a little close to this river. What? The, no, it's not a river, is it? It's a lake. So we might have to uh, just drift out slightly in order to cope with what's about to come. So if we go out a little more, like that, I think we have a good junction mess going on. <laughs> oh, this should be entertaining. Okay, this one comes back in before. It's actually after the junction in real life, but we are obviously going to struggle a little bit to get up there and make that viable. We do have this bit to get across, though. That's important, this bit here, to get up into the freight station. We are missing another one, which would be probably there, maybe. 
think this is all kind of one thing. But we're gonna we're gonna wing this a bit. So you'd need that to turn around. Hey, this is interesting. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Oh, we could do it up here maybe. We do need to get up here. Oh no, no. We're gonna struggle. Well that does that technically have to be there? It doesn't have to be quite there. We could really hug it up there. Like that. Would that give us more room to get across? Ooh, it's close. It's absolutely close. This has to happen. I don't know whether we've got enough room to do it as a siding, but we'll try. We'll probably have this as a zigzag. The question is, is that going to be long enough? It probably isn't. We're going to have to bring it right round to turn the trains around. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to bring this, like... This needs to be... What did we make those? 200 metres. I just run with 200 metres because of the scale that we're at. Uh, terminals overview upgrade. Let's find out. It is 200 metres. And that's that long. That's not 200 metres, is it? This needs to go up anyway. We can probably start raising and... Do we go up or down? I don't think it really matters. Go up that way. And then we can run this along the side and keep that up. That, that looks cool. Would that... That's got to be 200 metres. Easy. I mean, that, that gives us every crossover. The only problem we have is getting over to this track there. And what do we do? Let me get over there. I would like that to go over. That would be kind of the, the best. Oh, I saw it. <gasps> hey guys, we got it. That will do us. I think that will do us. That gives us access here. Turn around. And then we can operate this sidings. Which means, what do we need? We need a zigzag station. These things are awesome. Uh, they're all in the... Uh, there we go. Just there. What, what should we call this? They're all in the mod collection. I put those in the description of each video. So you can uh, you can see all the mods I use. If I forgot one, always give me a shout and I will add it. Add it. So far, we have working freight set up. This should be... What, are we, what else are we missing, really? See, we've got the crossover here. We don't technically need one up there. We are going to need some sort of crazy signal in, though. This is no longer one way, is it? That is two way. That is bi directional. That could cause us problems. But it might not. The only problem I see is if we have freight operating coming in this way that's got to turn around up there. Should we, should we give the AI the benefit of the doubt? I don't think it's the AI, though, that's going to have to deal with this. It's going to be us. If we put a signal there, that has a chance of deadlocking. Yeah, even all the way back there. The only place we can really put a signal is there and delete that one. That's all I can... That's all I can see now. Oh, goodness me. This is a challenge. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll, we'll signal this up. Because, as you know, or you may not know, every station in Transport Fever has bi-directional signalling. Two-way signals. At the end, either side, or just one side if it's a terminus. So there's that. Um, do we want to run a, an active shunter around here? We could put another zigzag in here. But given how terrible that might go around here when it's active, I'm not 100% sure that's a good idea. 
This is obviously going to work. That's the entry signal for that junction. We might need uh, to come off there too. We could probably... Actually, we should do that first, shouldn't we? Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh no. We might get away with that. Got to come out like that. It's obviously not going to be very fast. Now that's way too close. No, we can we can get away with this, guys. We can do it. We're going to keep floating around. I'm not sure whether we should be going up or down yet. This is probably old sidings. I don't know whether I want them like that or not. We might even be able to use these to turn trains around, you know, if it comes to it, since we have to turn them around anyway. Perhaps if we put some up there. Ooh, I know. How about we turn this one, any that's going into the, the into there, use this one. And then anything that's coming back onto the main line uses that one. I don't know. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's get this in. The episode of Junction. I would like to get this meeting that. Which takes us all the way up to Kingsbury. There's no station in Kingsbury. We're going to need to go flat there because we need to come off. Just here. This one, we're going to head that way round. Let's pick us a nice bridge. It's kind of a concrete bridge. But as you all know, my favourite... These are actually not like that. It's not a dam. See, that is kind of the right bridge. Well, it's probably, probably a better concrete than that. But there is a slight issue with the shadows. It might not be an issue given we're over water and we won't be going under it. No, there we go. We, we can get away with that because that's fairly close to the bridge. There are some railings. I don't know. Let's let's have a look at another bridge. See if we can uh, see if we can get something nice. Because it does have the railings. These do have railings, don't they? Yeah, these. That's the that's the one. That kind of represents it better. Uh, we we yeah, and the shadows are not too bad. Did you guys fix that? Get on with your track laying ground. You you're distracted. Right, so we're coming this way. A bit differently to how uh, it is in real life. We'll just go like that. And we'll go across like so. We are going to have to... We can probably just align with the... the uh, what is that? We can align with the terrain. Congratulations. You, you remembered. Right. We'll go with this one again. I don't mind it going downhill. Because we are going to have to somehow figure that out. Beautiful. That is happening. This is all happening. So then guys, this is uh, Kingsbury Station Junction. Although there's no longer a station there. I'm guessing the, the junction was named after it. And it's a tricky one. We like tricky though, don't we? We like tricky junctions. So we're going to keep it on the uh, straight and narrow like so actually looking at the junction the main line is that one there so we want to be doing something like this and then connecting i'd like you to stay flat for a second we'll get the elevation correct i'm glad this came down then it is looking like yeah, there we go. Like, we do come down a little bit, but that's not too terrible. I do like that. Ready. Let's do the junction. So we need to bring this back. This is our main track heading up to... Uh, is Kingsbury? Yeah, it's Kingsbury. We can go... Ooh, let's stay straight a bit more. And then we'll align... Actually, there's another junction up here. And a big old... 
another industrial area around this area here up to Dorden and we've got another another bunch of towns up here Tamworth uh, Wilmcote anybody know any of this, these towns Perry Croft yeah we've got some fun to do up there too the the uh the network is really starting to expand. I love it. So here's how this works. We're coming in like that. I would imagine these might be a decent speed. And then we kind of go across. What do we have there? 60? We can we can exaggerate that. I don't know whether it is 60. It might be less than that. And then this would come in like so. That is the junction. I think I'm a little surprised with myself for getting that in in one shot. <laughs> I really am. That's okay. Right, let's put, uh, I reckon we can signal this, uh, signal this up and get it about spot on as well. Let's do that. And then this would be that way around. I think we did it, guys. We nailed it. There we go. Beautiful. I do, do you know what I've missed? I've missed doing uh, the actual infrastructure and network with all the signaling and trying to make that sort of puzzle work. This one, obviously, uh, we're coming in and blocking the junction from there. Now, cab rides, I don't know whether trains use this. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I know we haven't really worked on services much recently but once we get this in and head to Nuneaton uh, also Nuneaton I have a trouble I have a trouble I have a have an issue saying Nuneaton I don't know why maybe I should keep saying it and then eventually I'll be good at it let's get this lower because I don't like the, the banks that go on this is just one of those issues we have uh, that we all live with in Transport Fever. And that is that uh, we, we can only have water at sea level and below. We can't have uh, like running streams down mountains. And I know there is there is the, uh, the rivers and streams mod. And that is in the collection. I just don't use it. Possibly on... Uh, areas where there might not be any AI interference you could use it we could uh, like I said with the canal thing we I'm gonna have a go at it just for you guys at some point in the series I will attempt a canal I think it might be possible <laughs> yeah I don't know whether to do it in an episode or to save you that pain I might uh, I might not do it in an episode. I don't want to put any more signals in there because we're going to have to change them soon. Okay, that can't be two-way, can it? But it has to be. Am I missing a crossover? It would have to be there, right? There'd have to be a crossover just there. No, that is right. It, it, but it's not two-way, it's one-way. That is absolutely right. Right, so trains can only go there. That means... Trains that are stopping on this platform can only go westbound. Uh, eastbound, sorry. Yes. Ooh, the patch notes. There is... In the patch notes, this is supposed to be a thing of the past. We won't miss that, will we? We will not miss that. That was a bug that was introduced because I don't remember them doing that. So we'll leave this for the time being. It's pointless keep deleting it and laying down unnecessary assets. Because if it is going to be fixed, we should be able to delete them once we have the beta installed. And then they should uh, behave. Behave. There is a H there. Please use it. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, by the way. Pronounce it however you like. I should at least attempt to pronunciate. A few times a year that's all you're going with right that has to be a blocking signal 
I do not want this bi-directional here. We've already got a few issues. So that might work. That might work. This is going to be fun. This will be like a little puzzle for us later on. This is beautiful. This is exactly how it works. Let's uh, start heading down to New Arley then. Where this track would go on our map. Because our towns are not quite in the right place. They're, they're, they're close enough. And it's an interesting one, because what we do... Remember, we've got to do something fancy with that. Actually, do we want to go up? Or do we want to stay? Given that this bank is way too high, if we stay flat... I like that idea. We're going to kind of come round, like so. We're getting a bit deep, aren't we? Goodness me. I would like to not... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Our coal station is going to be... Yeah, let's uh, but pick a nice speed. 55, that's kind of a track, nice track speed for these rural areas, especially coming towards the... I think there, that's going to be a massive coal mine. And we're going to over-exaggerate our coal mine. It could be supplying quite a few areas. I'm excited. I'm excited to get some functioning um, industry. Okay. Will that do us? Maybe. It, it's a bit of a wiggly one. One of the things I don't know is, are we in like a, a ravine? Okay, guys. So before I wandered off and did that junction, I was going to mention there was some discussion in the comments. So we'll get round to that now. Uh, just here, everybody was going to call this Ham's Hall. But it was uh, clarified that this is Ham's Hall. And it's... Uh, I, I looked into it a little further. It is the... Um, <laughs> here we go. BMW Group Plant is Ham's Hall. Which... I think we can get some goods and things. And put some bridges across here. We're, we're going to improvise around here. There's also Wincanton Group and Sainsbury's Distri Distribution Centre. As well as airport parking in this area all around here. We can Just look at how much room we got of nothing. So we can do a bit this side of scenery. And we can do lots up here. And this is going to be a big old industrial area. That's going to represent that. There's also the DHL XL supply chain. There we go, guys. That's something for uh, future planning. If we're going to remember that, or I am. And if I forget, you can remind me. I think we should. Uh, I think we should have gone up a little bit. We're way, way, way too deep. Before we get to the next junction, which will be the coal mine, I would like to uh, smooth that out a touch. Look, look, look at them. Lakeside Properties in Shustoke. Shush, how do you pronounce that? Is that right? Shustoke. Shustoke. Maybe it's Shustoke looking at it. Not entirely sure. Let's bring this up a touch. Just gently. Before we mess about with junctions. That should work. And then we'll leave you flat. There we go, because we it is kind of down a little bit. I prefer that. I prefer that a great deal. Ooh. Shall I say it? Will you miss it if I don't say it? Special episode. Well, I've said it now. But I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to drop that. It's official because I'm doing it. Doesn't Don't need to do smoothing. It is an official episode, though. Am I ever going to be able to stop saying that? This we're going to need to go sharp. That was an interesting choice of textures. This we're going to have to go right down here. We'll leave a nice straight bit for us. This is an interesting bit for us. New Ali. This literally exists. And it's really tight turn, and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure it's 40 miles an hour, but we'll go with that. We haven't got as far to go. 
We're going to come up that way. Kind of that angle. We got this. We've got this. I think we can do this. And we're going to come around there. I think we can start picking up speed to 60. And if we we drop that to 60, that, that gives trains time to slow down that way. We've also got this corner up here. And we've also got a junction for the for the massive coal yard to go along this section here that's flat. Ooh, that should be fun. We might get that in today. I don't know. We'll see. Well, not the whole thing, but we might get the uh, the basis of it in. This we're going to head up that way. And I'm not sure how it's going to go. Don't think there's any junction, so we can go up a little bit. Where is Nuneaton? Just there. We're heading in the right direction. We want to come in north of Stock Stockingford. Stockingford? <laughs> on our map and then we swing up down here and Nuneaton is going to be an interesting interesting junction and then of course uh, we join back up with Coventry uh, Bedworth is a station we kind of come in onto this I believe this bit here goes all the way up and connects us to Nuneaton and then this bit coming up all the way and swinging round and then eaten. There, look, I'm practicing it. I've said it about 332 times now this episode. I'm not putting a counter up. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to know how many times I said that. It could be uh, far too many. I do feel like raising up here is a thing, but I also feel like there's a, there's a tunnel somewhere. Let's leave that. Let's work on this junction for our coal mine. Let's do it. We're going to improvise a touch, but I would still like the infrastructure fairly close. Now, we've got to figure out where the flat bit is. I think it was here, and this I would like to work if possible. That I don't think is going to be fast. And I like that. Well, it, it, it's, it's a good start. <laughs> We've got to... We've got a bit here, and then we're going to come up, and I think 30 is fine. And it actually, let's let's make this straight down here. Obviously, we're going to need the actual station, and we'll use this for something. Possibly, I don't know. I don't think it's needed. Let's put that like that. Yes. I can see this being a thing. He says. Not entirely sure to be fair. I don't know where the station's gonna go. That we need to uh figure out. It's gonna be a biggie. I, I say we make a monstrous uh monstrous station. And although it's a terminus building, I think something like that would work for us. So this bit's going to go back onto the main line eventually. Need to give ourselves plenty of room, I think. Maybe like that. Then we'll bring this over. 30 is more than enough. And we'll do that. As long as we've left enough stopping space in between, I think we've got it. We are going to have to use this as a turnaround. So we're going to exaggerate again. Make sure we've got about 200. Let's put a, another zigzag in. We'll name these when we get to doing the routes. We could name them now, right? Uh, what would this be? This would be either north. north, But I think uh, door hill, north, reverse. That'll do us, wouldn't it? There we go. That's what we'll call that. Door mill. I, I called it wrong. Not hill. Door mill. There we go. North reverse. That is north up there. What would this be? This would be... Uh, ABP reverse. Yeah. ABP north reverse. 
put that in. We're, we're making plans. Now, how do we get across here? This should be, uh, this should be interesting. And obviously we want to improvise. Get the idea that something is going on over here. We go like that. We only need it 200 meters. I would like it just to work. Right, let's get as a freight station. I'm going to use that one. 200 meters. Like that. Yes, that's going to work. How many tracks do we want? Uh, it's looking like five. Yeah, I'm going to say five. That might not give us enough room. Oh, it just fits. We could possibly do that. We need to give ourselves more room here, don't we? We need to give ourselves much more room. Because it's it's one of those. This is the inside track. So, ooh, it's going to be tight. And then these have all got to go up. This is where we're going to have to put our thinking shoes on. Because we're going to have to just make this up as we go along, really. But get the essence of uh, the coal mine being there. I sort of like that. I would sort of prefer that though. If we do it like that. And this is. Can we call it right this time? Door mill. Colliery. If I've spelt that right. I deserve a gold star myself. Gold badge of awesome. We can go over there. That one we can go short. What about this? This is going to be far too tight. We're going to need more room. How do we get more room? I'll tell you how we get more room. We move it along further. Go further along. Just to give us uh, enough to turn in, really. And we can go there. That would do it as well. I like that idea. Bring this like so. Uh, can we get in? That's the question. We can. Oh, what a beautiful mess you are. I like you. Can you go there? And just for extra messiness, can you also go there? For no apparent reason other than it to look crazy. Not needed. But we, we could possibly use it. You know... That didn't turn out too bad. I don't know what this is going to be used for. Probably nothing. We're, we're just going to make it up. We are going to improvise. And I think we'll have something rather beautiful by the end of it. By the time we've stopped fiddling, if this will go in. Why won't you go in? There's absolutely no reason you can't go in there. It's like... There is. You've you've gone too tight. Okay, take it back. Well, let's start on the inside then. And then uh, we know this is the inside. We know it will work, won't we? This is the tightest it will go. Brilliant. It's a bit weird, I know. I've got no idea what I'm doing at this point. Okay. All right. Kind of like this. It's going to represent, like, all the strange things that go on in a yard that we don't technically need. I would like that to go around on the outside, actually. We'll bring that in. Yeah, that will kind of work. We can come off there, then. Not there. Surely. Surely you jest. Let's, uh, let's force your hand a little bit, shall we? Like that. We'll go like th that. Oh yeah, join up there. It is actually a dead end, but I kind of like that idea better. Right. Here we go, guys. We've got it. We're in. It's messy. We're going to flatten all that, obviously. Not too much, though. Might have like a little bit of a hill there. I don't want to put too many trees, but we might put bushes here. 
just to give it some uh, some texture. I would kind of like to block that off. We've got some nice tools to make coal mines. Uh, some nice building blocks. From our lovely modding community. Who uh, I tend to give a hard time sometimes and don't mean to. It's just frustrating when you're building something and we go, Oh, if only that did that. And I could, the worst thing is, I could possibly do it myself. I just don't have the time anymore. A little unfortunate. But I'm enjoying my recordings. Far too much. <laughs> Which is a good thing. I never thought I'd, I'd, I'd enjoy doing something like this. I really didn't. But uh, it is rather in entertaining for me. And quite a challenge to get stuff looking good at the end when you have an audience like because you're going to instantly get judged on it oh well, you guys are really kind to me I appreciate that alright I think that will do us for the basis of a coal mine To start with, we might need to make that flat. It would certain. I do like that all that is raised. Um, right, flattening tools then. We can do it. We go out here. We make ourselves a start point. We'll be good to go. We'll make ourselves a little start point, and then we'll get our, my favourite flattening tool. I know others out there use different ones, and that's fine. This is just my personal favourite. Um, you can have Lowe's that do the same thing. Do you know, being right down here... Oh, I'm starting to like this. I am. I am really starting to like this idea. Because we're kind of in a crater, which is perfect. We could do some real good scenery work here. We could. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to give it a good go, though. I'll tell you that much. Uh, have I gone a bit wonky there? Might have done. Well, let's go in there and there. So, live streams. Touchy subject for me. I want to redeem myself somehow, and I'm going to just occasionally do live streams. Not planning them this time, I'm not going to big them up. I think that was the problem. If you set yourself up and start planning miles ahead, I know people can uh, look forward to it and things, but if something goes wrong, I feel terrible about it. Um, it was completely out of my control. It ended up being uh, some guy dug through my... Uh, the, well, not my fibre cable, the fibre cable going to the main junction box. So yeah, there's, it was completely out of my hands, but it's not the point. I would still prefer... I think random live streams would, would make me feel much more comfortable. Then if it goes wrong, I'd be like, well, you know, we tried. Rather than, Rand, you've been building us up for weeks, and then... Uh, Bit of a disaster. Okay, I'll stop going on about it now. Alright, we have a nice area to work with here. Let's uh, remind ourselves what we're doing. And we'll put some... Do you know? Do you know what we could do? I just had a, a lovely drink of tea. Because uh, thinking shoes were, were donned. And given this is going to be a coal mine... How about we do coal and iron doubled up and really just go to town on it if we can find them. Coal mine is there. I would love the coal mines in. We can have them kind of, as long as they're flat, we'll send these far back over here like that at an angle. So we, we can use them as scenery as well. Yes. Yes. I mean, they're huge. Uh, we're going to need even more. More flattening, please. 
Let's do it. Let's just go for it. Is that right? There we go. Just, we'll go to town. On the flat and in. Please work. Thank you. We need uh, enough area to put multiple coal mines and iron ore. So I'd like to build something around the back here too. We'll do that. There. There we go. Get rid of all these. This will be good. But not in today's episode. Otherwise it will be a five hour episode. But it will be the start. And then we can... Uh, we can think of it. We don't need them exactly lined up, do we? If you go back there... Right, because from the distance, we're going to see our little coal mines. We're going to do our own little bit of scenery as well. We're going need, to need room for a massive distribution center. We could even use some cooling towers and stuff. I don't know, maybe. Uh, then we've got the iron ore as well. If we put those in, one, one about here. Oh, you can't, can you? Oh, there we go. We put one there. And another one. Is that too much? Let's flatten. Do some more flattening. This is I told you it's going to be huge, but we've got the room. You know? Why not? We have the room, so let's do it. I intentionally left these. That's not right. I intentionally left these areas empty so we can improvise with some uh, some of our own industry areas. Yeah, okay. Kind of liking that. I'm liking the... I'm thinking rock face as well is a, is a thing we could possibly do. Alright. I like this. Yes. Hey, come on. Get around there. Perfect. Yes. Can anybody out there almost envision what we're going to be doing? I sort of can. Looking a bit, bit plain at the moment. But that's the beauty of it. You can have before and after shots. So this is what it looked like. And this is how it still looks like. If we just go back to somewhere a second. Um, do you remember my mo <laughs> We were supposed to be doing something there. This we will do. Even if I do it uh, off camera. I will make some uh, some beginnings to this. I believe. Off camera. I do want a couple of coal, coal mines. And a couple of iron ore mines. Yes. And we'll find a place to take them and uh, do steel and things now if we have a distribution center up here are they gonna oh we might have put these two close to the station distribution center there uh, click on the right one on here yes that kind of works one around the back one there. Bear with me. I've got an idea to block that off. Delete that a second. Because I don't want the station to be immediately in the capture area of these. I want to deliver. I want to shunt. Like have little shunters going around like it's yard work. Look at the time. Have I done anything? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Don't panic. I have done a lot. Done a lot of infrastructure and a lot of talking. Both are okay. We're going to need to do the road first. Remember, we're not going for uh, for the game aspect, the gaming aspect of it. But we are going for, hopefully, stuff that's going to work. And be pretty. Beautiful. Or industrial. Okay. Can we fit that in now? I'd like you to kind of be 
not where the road's going to go because that would be a silly idea. Okay, we can we can thread through there. Beautiful. Oh, I haven't left enough room, have I? Let's get uh, let's get our station in first. Can you can you go in? I want you right on there. If we go in there, then we put the coal mine just so it not this is iron ore, not coal. Just so it kind of sits in there. We're going to run around the back. That's how we're going to do it because we're going to need to fit another one in here. So you're going to have to kind of go that way. Up there. We can fit another one in there. And I'm hoping they don't touch. Is that going to be enough? Oh, do you know what we could use? Couldn't we use one of those? That kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah. That actually does kind of work. Length. Let's go with four. You know, I like that idea. That immediately adds scenery. Perfect. Oh, and it will go in. Will it go in? Will it? Yes. I like it. I'm not sure about that bit of road. Can we upgrade that to not be small? Is that the one? Hmm. Fence. Yeah, small works. That. No, it, it just doesn't look right, but. Oh, what am I talking about? Uh, what about new city, old city, new city, old, no, new, none. I don't, don't like, I wish we could change this. Medium, large isn't going to do it, is it? Let's just do that. That works. Uh... It doesn't look the best, but we might be able to cover that up. Now, let's see if we're missing... Well, we've got to connect all the roads. Let's connect the roads up. Hopefully that works. And we'll see where we're at. Brilliant. Do that. We're going to go around the back here. Like that. Hopefully. This is the opposite of what you'd do if you was playing the game. <laughs> You just wouldn't do this at all. We go, yep, yeah, we can go there. Then we'll come around like so. Yes. A lot of trees around for a coal mine, but whatever. Well, I go in there. Connect that up there. Connect you up. Like that. And up to there. We'll have another bit going around there. Then... We'll have some sort of crossroads going on. That kind of works. Now, moment of truth. You are in reach of all of these. You are in reach of all of these. You are in reach of all of these. You reach none of these. That is absolutely perfect. I like it. I like it. That's a bit tight, but works. That is actually spot on. There we go. It's the beginnings of something I feel will be a decent sized coal and iron industry. And I am looking forward to finishing that. There we go. Just smooth off these edges a little bit. Like them. So that is the start of... Um, what are we calling it? <laughs> Door Mill Colliery. Yeah, we could uh, we could call all these, couldn't we? Door mill, uh, shaft A. Um, yes, door mill, shaft B. Door mill shaft. D. That'll do. That'll do us. What's this? D? I don't know anymore. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, 
okay. We'll have to call this something different. Door mill. <laughs> uh, collection A. Yeah, that'll do. Well, collection. But we'll get all the, the, the borrowing stuff done. Collection C. Okay. Alright. What would this be called? Uh, Dormill Freight Out. There we go. Brilliant. Ooh. Well, that was... Uh, was that an hour's work? Sure. Close to an hour. Uh, do I want to screenshot that? Because it's a bit, uh, it's a bit empty, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, look. You know, well, that's the episode, isn't it? So we should, we should, uh, we should not. I'm not going to cheat you guys with a, a a dodgy thumbnail that represents none of the things. What it's going to be called is the beginnings, the beginnings of door mill colliery. It's like a, it's like a little book. But anyway, that'll be the screenshot. Should we, uh, should we jump on board? This guy, because we, we, did we actually do that at the end? I think we did, and we hit a tree, or we almost hit a tree. Did he build it back? Do you remember? Some of you may have missed the end. I do not blame you for not staying all the way through. But some, <laughs> there was a tree right in the, in the middle of nowhere. Anywho... Well, do you know what? Should we head out? There's got to be a train in here he heading out. We haven't headed the other way. Okay, executive decision made. We're going to pop on this one. On uh, Birmingham International. To New Street. And we're off to Adley Park. I kind of like the sound of that. There's a lot more going on on the map. Brilliant. That's how we'll end it. Superb job. Let's unpause that. Okay, guys, that's been episode 28. We have made a start to the door mill colliery. We are ever creeping towards Nuneaton. Oh, bit of a stutter there. Not surprised, though. We've been demolishing and all sorts. When we come back for Sunday, there'll be a new guest station at a new time. I, I hope you enjoy the new time. It will kind of... Uh, you've got early evening in the UK and... And not a silly time for the US and Australia. Balance it a bit better. And we'll 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 have another we'll have another go at a, a slightly more difficult station. I'm taking you on the cab rides for a reason. So you can have a look at some of the stations and try and remember them. <laughs> so that's that. We're gonna do some scenery work on the mine and hopefully go a little closer to Nuneaton. And that's going to extend our network, and eventually we'll have the full, full circle to uh, Coventry. Up that way. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, hit like if you liked it. I'll leave the links to Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Patreon if you're interested. Uh, check those out. Uh, come and join the ever-growing... Discord community, there's a load of guys in there now. It's um, 85 of us, I believe, which is awesome. So, until next time, take care.